Welcome to Move In Weather, essential forecasting software for anyone who requires weather on demand at all times, for anywhere in the world, from anywhere in the world. Personally customised and delivered direct to your PC or laptop. During this short demonstration, you will discover Moving Weather is so easy to use, and with a little practice, you will be able to download and view your own forecasts whenever you want and as many times as you like. Once the software has loaded, you will see a world map and the menu bars. This is the usual starting point for the programme. Now we are ready to start a forecast. In order to create a forecast, you must first select the area that you want the forecast for. There are two ways to do this. The first of which is to click on the Go button on the toolbar at the top of the display. This will give you the option to select a location from the list, add a location by longitude and latitude, or edit a location. The second method is to select an area with your mouse by left-clicking and then dragging over the area you wish to select. Please note that you should always drag from left to right. Next, simply click on the Forecast button in the toolbar at the top. The Request window should now appear. This contains your account information, the estimated download sizes and times, as well as the option buttons for what you would like forecasted. You can also select the term of the forecast, ranging from 3 hours to 7 days. By clicking on the option boxes, we can request temperature, wind, rain, pressure, clouds and humidity. Wind is always selected automatically, but can be deselected if you require. For the benefit of this demonstration, we will click on all the option boxes and download a one-day forecast for the English Channel. Once you have finished selecting the setup that you want, use your mouse and click on the Get Weather button. Once you have clicked Get Weather, your Moving Weather software will automatically connect to your internet source and download your forecast. When the red internet active display is cleared, your forecast is downloaded and you no longer require internet connection as your forecast will be stored. This keeps download times to a minimum. If you have poor or low speed internet connection, such as satellite or an expensive mobile tariff, it is possible to request a forecast that will be sent to your email account. Now we see the forecast has finished downloading and has been processed. It is ready to be viewed and a drop down list containing the weather options you selected will automatically appear in the top left of the screen. When clicking on an option in this list, the characteristics of that weather category will be displayed on the map. Please note that too many layers at once will overcomplicate your screen and may affect the performance of the programme. We recommend that you only view two or three layers at a time. When you have decided which options you want to view, just click play and your forecast animation will begin. You can stop, start, pause, rewind, fast forward or skip to the start or end of the forecast at any time. You may also loop your forecast, ensuring the checkbox below the time bar is clicked, allowing you to watch your forecast continually without needing to press play. We can also use the speed dial alongside the change in date and time indicator to adjust how fast your forecast simulation plays. Click and drag the dial to the left to slow the simulation down, or click and drag the dial to the right to speed it up. For each weather category, you can fully customise the settings so that you can view the information on display in your preferred way. To demonstrate this, click on the Setup button on the toolbar at the top of the window. This will then become a drop-down list containing all the weather options. Click on the one you wish to change the settings for. In this instance we have selected wind 
and a new window will open shown weather display settings. By using the drop down menus we can completely customise how we view the forecast. In this example we will change from knots to Beaufort text and from scalable arrows to Beaufort arrows. The visual display will then change automatically once you close the window. Whenever you update the settings they will be remembered so that the next time you use the program you should not need to change them again. Grid lines can also be turned on or off by clicking the grid button on the toolbar at the top of the window. When the grid lines are on they are accompanied by their longitude and latitude values at the top or left side of the map. If you wish to see weather information for a specific point on the map then there are two ways we can localise the forecast. The first is by clicking on the info button on the toolbar. When this window is visible it will show all the weather information for the point on the map where your mouse cursor is situated, also coinciding with the time and date display shown in the toolbar. This information can include location, wind direction, temperature, wind, rain, clouds, pressure and humidity according to what information has been downloaded. As you can see the position and forecast changes to wherever the cursor is placed. We can move the map information box to a more convenient location by clicking and dragging on the blue bar at the top of the box. If we close the map information box and stop the forecast then the second way of localising the animation is by simply clicking and dragging the cursor once more over the area that we want to view and the forecast will automatically recalibrate to the localised area. So that's the moving weather basics. Now let's go back to the world map and do a pressure forecast for the Atlantic. By requesting a weather forecast over a larger area we can also see how the weather patterns are developing. Click on the forecast button. Remove the wind. Request an 18 hour forecast for pressure only. Click on the get weather button. We are now online as you can see. We are now offline and the forecast has been processed as the drop down menu appears. Click on the pressure button and we can see the forecast. Animate the forecast. Adjust the speed. And view the developing weather patterns. We can also save a forecast by using the file button in the top toolbar and clicking save. The weather icon on the top toolbar will replicate our control panel as will the map to show grids and edit locations. If we go into accounts we will find that we can manage our account and also earn valuable free subscription time by recommending a friend. By going into tools we can change our time zone. In window we can relocate the map info box and once again find the location editor. In help you will find a printable comprehensive instruction manual to make sure you get the best out of your moving weather subscription. You will also find an automated check for updates, a link to the website and a troubleshooting and diagnostics check in the unlikely event that you experience any moving weather software problems. We sincerely hope that you've enjoyed this demonstration and found it useful. Also remember that we are available by phone or email to answer any further inquiries that you may have. So now you know the basics, why not try it yourself? Download your free trial from either the CD-ROM or website. Register your details, set up your trial account and get forecasting. Thank you for your interest in moving weather and we look forward to welcoming you as a valued customer in the near future.